These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. We are on Wildfire Watch with the team effort to reduce the impact of devastating wildfires. It's been a busy season in the Northeast Valley. Agencies and neighbors coming together to protect their communities. Our Ashley Holden hearing directly from the group on their plan during their first meeting. It's scary to think of what maybe could happen. The Rio Verde Foothills community and the North Scottsdale area know just how devastating wildfires can be. In the last few months, neighbors have watched as the Boulder View and Wildcat fires burned thousands of acres. Flames are just coming up. Yeah, real high. In 2023, many people fearing for their homes with the Diamond Fire. As a community, we came together and, and thought we need to do something a little more. Damon Bruns, who has lived in the area for decades, says it was the Diamond Fire over a year ago that prompted the idea to try and become a designated firewise community. The more that we can get each homeowner involved and participate, the better off the community is going to be. The program is federal with the bridge here in Arizona, the State Department of Forestry and Fire Management, who also get help from local fire departments. We want them to focus on ways that they can reduce embers or ignition sources on or around, immediately around their home. It's a months long process with the goal of educating and preparing the Rio Verde Foothills community, focusing on work people can do on their properties. <laughs> the area already has a board and has been working with the state on other steps like an action plan. But Wednesday, dozens coming together for the next step, education. I think if you're anywhere close to any kind of the grass, I would not recommend it at all. Fire officials taking questions on safety steps, evacuations, and the program in general. It's nice to work with them and hear all new things that we can do. Diana Troik owns a ranch in the area and has already been working with her neighbors on emergency plans. Does it give you a sense of a little bit of relief to see so many people show up and want to be a part of this? Yes, yes. Um, I'm very happy to see some of my neighbors here. Um, one that's yard is pretty bad. The more we talk about it, the more they understand and might do it. Board members like Damon hope to get even more community support and be further along in the process come next spring. Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona. Uplifting Arizona and making going back to school a little bit easier for some families. An East Valley community coming together to help students this school year. More than 30 volunteers packed 1,000 backpacks with school supplies. Anything that we can do as a community, as a school district, to lessen that cost and get these kids ready to go, go for school, we're happy to support and do for our community. These backpacks will be given away Saturday at Eagles Community Center in Mesa on a first come first serve basis. And if you don't have kids in school, like you just want to be awesome and help out. Community Bridges is still taking donations for this through Friday. And bird gang today is the day Arizona Cardinals open practices begin and they want you in the stands. I've been telling you about this all week. If you've never been to a game, now is the time to take advantage of the free digital tickets. You'll get quite the experience without the cost. You can reserve up to six tickets per day. Today's practice begins at 115 and parking is also free. Now, if you have a sweet tooth and you love donuts with that morning cup of joe, this one is for you. Kansas City Donut Shop Lamar's Donuts confirming exclusively to ABC 15. They're adding several dozen locations right here in Arizona as part of their expansion across the U.S. The Donut Shop first opened their location in Phoenix in 2004, offering fresh donuts ranging from glaze to cake and raise Lamar's bars. The timeline for when shops will open is yet to be announced, but you can find more information about the expansion and those current locations on our website, abc15.com slash things to do. Time now for the most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Sizzling hot weather again today with Phoenix topping out at 113 degrees. We made it to 114 for a high yesterday, so not too far off from that. Temperatures in the 80s in Flagstaff, but mid 90s in Payson and triple digits in Globe. Better storm chances across the higher terrain, but there is that chance for a few scattered storms in the valley by this afternoon and evening. And we can see a little bit of a better coverage of storms today than what we saw with those storms initially yesterday. Either way, some storms could be on the stronger side, maybe a few severe thunderstorms thunderstorms like we saw yesterday with the potential for damaging winds, areas of blowing dust and heavy rain, and that risk for severe weather is in that marginal range, at least for parts of the Phoenix Metro. 113 for a high today. Storm chances will continue through tomorrow with just a slight chance on Saturday, and then Sunday looks quieter. Temperatures trend down to near 110 through the weekend, and then we drop a little further Monday as that monsoon moisture increases again with highs back to 110 plus next week. 
We will have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at ABC15.com, or you can download that free ABC15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.